Hey guys, this is Navin here. Welcome back to Navin Automation Labs. So guys, uh, in the last session we have seen that what is the concept of hash map. And today I'm going to cover that uh, what is the concept of hash table. And the biggest difference between hash map and hash table is that we have seen that hash map is non-synchronized. Okay, it means it's not thread safe. It's like uh, multiple threads at a time can attack or can access hash map object. But hash table okay is a different concept although it stores a value on the basis of key and value pair format but there are different uh, concepts with respect to synchronization that it is synchronized so it's a very famous interview question that okay what is the difference between hash map and hash table so the biggest difference is that hash map okay is synchronized okay sorry hash map is non synchronized but hash table is synchronized so let's create a class and uh, let's see my class name is uh, just a minute hash table concept right select the main method click on finish so in this particular video i'll cover a couple of uh, hash table concepts different methods of hash table okay so first of all first thing is that you have to remember that uh, okay hash table is is an implementation of hash table it stores the keys on the basis of hash code of the object now what is hash code and all those things it's a very uh, different uh, concept so i don't want to go into that particular concept but a non null object can be used as a key and as a value okay so what do you mean by hash table that uh, first of all that it is similar to hash map but it is synchronized okay always remember guys this is synchronized okay hash table stores key and value pair okay obviously it stores the value on the basis of key and value okay on the basis of key and value another thing is that in hash table we spe we specify an object that is used as a key okay so whatever the key is there which will be specified as an object okay and each and every object is having but one hash code okay and on that particular hash code the value will be stored this is the concept you have to remember this okay in hash table the key is stored in the form of object and each and every object inside the java is having one special unique identifier that is called hash code okay each and every object is having one unique okay hash code so quickly i'll tell you what do you mean by hash code see guys hash code is a java uh simply java provides a particular number it's a java object number whenever you create any object so java provides a particular hash code for that particular okay for that particular object so java object is defined by a sub number that is called hash code number it's a 32 bit integer number sign integer number okay so if through diagram if i tell you it's very important concept guys because uh, at the time of interview they might ask what do you mean by hash code or something like that so let's see this is my memory and uh, i'm creating an object okay and uh, <clears throat> so whenever i'm creating the object first of all a class object will be created let's see my class name is test t1 is equal to new test okay so i'm creating the object which is referred by t1 this guy is referred by t1 now this particular java object jvm what exactly it will do it will give a number that number is called hash code number okay hash code number and this number is 32 bit integer number will be given to this guy okay it can be any 32 bit integer number if you try to print, uh, print the hash code i'll show you how to print the hash code of a uh, particular object okay so that allows an object to be managed by hash based data structure so whenever we are using hash based data structure so by using the hash code we can access that particular object and if you want to check on the basis of uh, you know 
on the basis of this particular unique number and you want to store or you want to manipulate the objects or you want to define the memories for these objects in that case you can use okay in that particular data structure generally we use hash code concept okay as we know that okay as i told you hash code is a unique number but what happens unique number which is always provided by jvm so we don't define that what kind of number it will be jvm java compiler java virtual machine will give this particular number okay to this particular object and it is 32 okay 32 bit but as per the concept we know that okay uh, it's a unique number but actually speaking like hash code is not a unique number for an object if two objects are equal then these two objects should return same hash code it means i have created two equal object let's see i have done some cloning okay this object is exactly equal okay this object is equal to this object so whatever the hash code number let's see the hash code number is something like this okay for this particular object and the same hash code number will be given to this particular object also. okay so in case of cloning or in case that okay two objects are exactly same in that case the hash code number will not be unique the same hash code will be given to okay will be given to that okay these two objects so okay so we what we have to do if you want to access these uh, now that's a different concept if you want to access these hash codes you have to implement hash code method from the object class okay if two objects are equal that is a different concept i don't want to get into these things so this is the concept of hash code things okay so in that case it will return uh, both the hash codes okay for the same uh, for the different objects same same hash code will be returned okay in that case you have to use you have to override the hash code method from the object class and you need to override equals method also so whenever you are comparing two objects to get the hash code values okay in that case what we have to do we have to override equals method also so that is a different uh, concept i'll tell you later but this is the hash code concept okay in terms of hash table so hash table that what exactly it does that okay hash table specify any object that is used as a key okay if any object you are storing as a key what exactly it will do the key is storing in the form of object object is always having one hash code and for that particular hash code one value will be associated okay to that particular hash code okay so generally in hash map what we do we define let's say string comma string so one string okay let's see a is associated to tom here if you are storing any integer or maybe let's see some object okay as a key so that on that particular hash code value the value will be given so on the basis of like on this particular hash code value well value will be given so key will be like this it will be like this internally what exactly it does it will be like this three four three four three five four comma let's see the value is tom the string value okay on that particular hash code value will be associated this is the internal difference between hash code i mean sorry hash map and hash table hash table stores the value on the basis of hash code of the key okay okay so so this is a concept of hash table and hash table is synchronized so that's why what do you mean by synchronized because this is thread safe synchronized means thread safe it means at a time okay only one object okay so let's see this is the object i created okay and i have multiple threads are available okay thread number one thread number two thread number three and thread number four if this thread number t1 is accessing this particular okay this t1 is accessing this particular object all these three cannot access this object why because this is thread safe hash table are always synchronized okay one by one once this guy is done okay then Okay, once this guy is done, then it will access, then again this guy is done, then okay, T3 will access, then again this guy is done, then this guy will access. So it's one by one. Okay, it's not like in hash map that in okay, in hash map that okay, at a time all these uh, four threads or five threads or multiple threads can access hash map object. But in hash table, it's not like that. Hash table is always synchronized. Okay. So this is the basic difference between hash map and hash table okay <clears throat> now see um, let's see how to create a hash table so simple hash table is a class 
simple use hash t small guys okay so let's say i've created h1 is equal to new hash table right and uh, in hash table import it from java.util so see what happens how to put the values simple h1 dot put method is there and what is the key let's see my key is one and the value is let's see again tom right and i'll put some other two more values h1 dot put value is let's see test key is three value is let's see selenium or let's see java whatever the value you want to store so right now if you want to create okay a particular cloning how to create a clone or shallow copy of this particular hash table okay so create a clone copy or shallow copy of hash table so how to do that simple we have a method first we create okay what exactly we create i'll create one more hash table object over here let's see hash table h1 <coughs> h and i want to clean i want to create the clone of h1 so h1 okay you can clone like this h1 dot okay clone method is there h1 dot clone and this h1 dot clone what exactly we can store in h is equal to like this but you have to typecast into hash table like this okay so what exactly i have done i have created two objects h1 and h in h i am not storing any values but i just created h1 dot clone and storing into h now h will have all these three values also whatever the values are available in h1 those values will be available in h also okay but i'll create h2 like this so okay so two objects are there h1 and h2 references okay in h2 i'm not storing any values with the help of h2 i'm just converting h1 clone cloning into h2 so h2 just like a replica just like a duplicate object will be created so this is how we create the cloning also now if you print h1 and h2 both system dot out print ln you can print like this system dot out print ln <coughs> Let's see, I'm printing like this. The values from H1 plus H1 object, and I want to print the value of H2 also. Okay, and uh, let's run it. See, it's a value from H1, it's like this one, two, three, and from H2 also, it's like this. Okay, so this is a concept that you can create the clone. Now tomorrow, if you remove the value from H1, you can clear the value. How to clear the value? If you want to delete, simple clear. Okay, so now if you print the same thing, system dot out dot print and H1 and H2 again. Now what will happen? H1 will be deleted. All the values from H1 will be deleted, but H2 will remain same. Okay, so let's see. See. First, I created H1 and duplicate of H1 to give uh, given to H2. I cleared H1, all the values are gone, but H2 will remain same because this is a duplicate object. Okay, like this. So this is a cloning also. Sometimes you can use, okay, create multiple objects and then you can uh, you can use in your live project or live framework whatever you want to do. Okay. Now we have one more method that is called contains value. Okay, very simple that contains value method what exactly does that uh, let's see i have this particular hash table okay and i'll check let's say i'll create a new hash table better with the proper values hash table h3 i'll create or maybe better some name let's see uh, 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 st okay st dot put let's see my key is uh, <coughs> my key is a and the value will be Naveen st dot put let's see the key is b 
the value will be let's see manager st dot put c let's see my value will be value will be a uh, 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 selenium okay like this so i have given three values in this particular hash table object i want to check that whether a value exists or not simple so i'll put one condition if what is my object name st dot contains value method is there contains value of what if contains value naveen okay contains value simple naveen okay simple i'll print system dot out dot print ln let's see printing value is found okay if naveen is available value is found simple right so value is found naveen is available if value is not available it will not give any value right so this is also we can check the value is available exist or not apart from that how to print all the values or how to access all the values or how to iterate how to print all the values from hash table using that concept is called enumeration okay okay so one method is there enumeration elements method is there so how to use that so let's see i have this particular hash table it's the same hash table right object is there so what exactly we have to do we have a method guys on this particular hash table st dot elements method is there so this st dot elements method will give will give you enumeration class object returns an enumeration of the values in hash table so all the values will be stored in this particular enumeration use the enumeration method on the return object to fetch the elements sequentially sequentially if you want to fetch all the elements you have to store inside this particular enumeration uh, reference and then <clears throat> you can iterate it in the form of okay in the form of sequentially so how to do that simple st dot elements and it will return one enumeration object so i have to store in enumeration reference so like this okay enumeration e is equal to like this and enumeration okay it's already imported and now what we have to do simple i'm printing the value so let's say i'm printing one statement print <coughs> values from st okay and what we have to do obviously now we have to okay get the values one by one so we have to use let's see while loop while this particular e dot we have this particular method has more elements very simple as more if in this particular enumeration values are available as more elements system dot out dot print ln simple use e dot next element just like iterator we have e dot has next or it dot has next and it dot next through enumeration also you can okay get the values from this particular hash table and if you run it see print values from st naveen selenium manager so through enumeration also we can get the values okay this is a concept of enumeration okay now we have a uh, we have same thing get all the values from hash table using entry set just like we have seen okay entry set which will return what it will return one set object the set of hash table values we have seen in hash map also set of hash table values so there are different ways to get the values either you can get it through enumeration you can get the value through entry set also guys these are the very important things you have to remember it's not like array list or something where it does not store the value in the form of uh, ordering that 0 1 2 3 you can provide the for loop and you can get it like this no okay either you have to use enumeration or you have to use entry set so simple how to do that so the print values from st let's see using enumeration and uh, i'll print using entry set so how to do that simple again what is object st dot method is there entry set 
okay st dot entry set it will return one set object see it will return one set reference actually set h is equal to this yeah, import set from java dot util and uh, simple what you have to do just print it system dot out dot print ln let's see just simple print with the s <clears throat> if you print all the values will be printed on the console a equal to Naveen b equal to manager c equal to selenium okay like this so returns a set of view <clears throat> okay set of view of the mapping contains in this particular map or contains in this particular hash table it will return like this so set also you can use apart from that let's see the equals method is there it is used to compare a specified object with okay with this uh, hash table or not for equality point of view so we have one equals method is available so let's see i have uh, i have this particular hash map and similar one more hash map i'll create mm, okay let's see st and st1 exact same hash map i have created st1 okay with the same values i have created i want to check i want to check that uh, just a minute yeah i want to check that both the objects checking whether both the hash tables are equal or not both the hash table objects are equal to not so simple i've been printing check both the hash tables are equal or not so how to do that simple we have this method if i'll compare if st dot equals with st1 if both are equal simple system dot out dot print ln okay i'll print both are equal now if you run this program see both are equal right so st and st the exact hash map hash tables are there so you can use equals if it will return true okay if it is both are equal otherwise it will return false okay now how to get the value from the specific uh, to get the value from uh, from a key so simple let's see the st is there or maybe st1 is there so simple system dot out dot print ln st1 dot get method is there and pass the key let's see my key is a st dot get a a is equal to naveen so naveen will be returned simple very simple so get method is there okay to get the value from a specific key now <clears throat> one method is there hash code method it returns the hash code value of this particular okay of this particular hash table as for the definition okay so get the hash code of hash table object so simple one method is there system dot order print ln st1 dot hash code okay so i'll print like this the hash code value of st1 like this okay the hash code value of st1 simple st1 dot hash code method is there you can print it on the console whatever the as per that i explained to you that each and every object okay represented by one hash code value so like this if you print the hash code value of st1 is something like this. As I told you, it's 32-bit integer number. It's like this. It's a random, unique number. Okay, will be given to this particular. Okay. Okay, guys. So one more last concept that uh, see in hash table it contains only and only unique elements. Okay, unique elements means the the key and value pair format always unique. If you like. If you create st dot put c on selenium and c with selenium once again and if you try to print this st1 system dot out dot print ln 
एस टी वन राइट सो इफ यू सी एच प्रिंटिंग लाइक दिस ए इक्वल टू नवीन सी इक्वल टू सिलेनियम बी इक्वल टू मैनेजर एच प्रिंटिंग ओके लेट मी लाइक दिस सिस्टम वॉट आउट ऑफ प्रिंट एल इन वैल्यूज फ्रॉम एस टी वन देन यू विल गेट टू वैल्यूज फ्रॉम एस टी वन इज दिस इट्स नॉट प्रिंटिंग सी सिलेनियम टू टाइम्स सी इक्वल टू सिलेनियम टू टाइम्स सो ओनली एंड ओनली इट कंटेन्स ओनली यूनिक एलिमेंट इफ यू ट्राई टू एड इट विल इग्नोर अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट ओके एज आई टोल्ड यू इट कंटेन्स यूनिक वैल्यूज ओके इट डज नॉट कंटेन गाइज जस्ट अ मिनट Okay, guys. So one last concept that it contains only unique values, otherwise, and as well as that uh, it cannot have any null key or null value. Okay, if you define any null queue, sorry, no null key and null values. If you define, if you give any null key and null value, let's see, I'm giving like this. Let's see null key and null value. Immediately, it will return one exception that is called null pointer exception. Okay, on line number sixty-two hash table concept sixty-two line number. So null key and null values are not allowed. And let's see, I'm giving like this any null value also. This is also not allowed. Immediately, it will give you null pointer exception. See again. Giving null point exception. So always remember, never define any null value and null keys. Okay, this is not allowed. It will give you null pointer exception. Okay, null pointer exception. But in hash map, it's allowed. Okay, multiple null values and one null key is allowed in hash map. But in hash table, it's very restrict. It's synchronized. It contains only unique values. okay all these things are uh, important for uh, okay for hash table point of view so these are the ba uh, basic differences and if you really want to define you can see some warning lines are there if you really want to define some uh, generics okay specific to generics like uh, like this st let's see st3 and i want that my value should be string comma key and value should be string string type string string like this also you can define it means i can store only string key and string value so generics also you can define like this. so this is all about hash table okay very very important class in java and uh, but the problem is hash table we don't use where multi threading and if you want to improve the performance in that case we don't use hash table because this is okay uh yeah so this is synchronized and it's a thread safe at a time only one thread can access so obviously it's a sequential threading right once the one thread is completed then second thread will come and then third thread will come so obviously the performance of the application will be slow but in hash map this is non synchronized okay in that case multiple threads at a time can access or can attack okay hash map objects so hash map can serve and can give it to multiple can be given to the multiple threads but the problem with if any value is getting changed or removed by thread 1 in hash map okay thread t2 okay will get the null value or something like that or some okay uh, uh, fail safe condition will be there in that case so that's a difference between hash table and hash map okay so that's all for this particular session if you really like this video guys please uh, you can subscribe to the channel my channel name is this okay navin automation labs and there are a lot of videos are coming so please subscribe to the channel share with others like the video and you can press the bell icon over there and uh, immediately you will be notified for my live session as well as a new video uploading okay thank you so much thanks for watching guys